Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with Bootstrap templates. Our viewer is facing a problem with their Cube portfolio integration. The question at hand is about a, st is about a specific error message. Uncaught error, Cube portfolio is already initialized destroy it before initialize again. This indicates that the cube portfolio is being initialized multiple times, which can lead to conflicts in your code. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. The error message you're encountering indicates that Cube Portfolio is already initialized. This typically happens when the initialization code runs multiple times without properly destroying the previous instance. To resolve this issue, you need to ensure that you destroy the existing Q portfolio instance before reinitializing it. You can do this by calling the destroy method on the grid container. Here's how you can modify your custom JavaScript code. Before initializing Q portfolio, add the destroy method to ensure any previous instance is removed. Make sure to place this destroy call right before your initialization code. This will prevent the error from occurring and allow your queue portfolio to function correctly. After making these changes, test your application again. You should no longer see the initialization error and your queue portfolio should work as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the issue with the Cube portfolio and the Bootstrap template plugin, you need to destroy the existing instance before initializing it again. Make sure to include the initialization code after destroying the previous instance to avoid errors. Remember, if the cube portfolio is initialized elsewhere, it can lead to errors due to conflicting instances. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. It seems like you're trying to instantiate Cube Portfolio twice on the same element. To fix this, first use the destroy method to remove the existing instance. After destroying the instance, you can reinitialize the cube portfolio with the init method. If you need more assistance, feel free to share a link to your website so I can check your code. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.